So this is a fresh load of Windows 7. We've done about a hundred and some updates. It's updated through today. And right now there's no security on the computer, so we're installing the full version, the trial version of the McAfee Internet Security. So we have state-of-the-art protection on our computer, and then we're going to start jumping around the internet and see uh, what we can pick up. So we're almost done installing McAfee Security, and I'm going to enable every form of protection that I can. So I'm trying to emulate what an average user would see in his or her environment. So we've got uh, Internet, uh, Internet Explorer version 11, automatic updates are on. And I've set AOL as our home page because that's what a lot of our customers do, either AOL or Yahoo. So let's just do a search if I recommended Security Essentials for somebody. And we'll just type Security Essentials into the AOL search bar and we'll see what we get. And this is where you end up with a lot of problems. You have these advertisements which are managed by third-party companies and I really don't think that they're keeping an eye on what they're advertising here. And uh, with all fairness, it's probably very difficult to do so. Uh, so you've got AOL's got its own, apparently, it's got its own security essentials, which uh, AOL lists at the top of their results. And apparently they're trying to sell Norton and LifeLock and something called My Privacy. I'm not even sure what that is. So that's not what we're looking for. And then we'll get to the second one, which is Microsoft-Security-2Download.com. don't even know what that is. We'll click on that and see what's going on here. And if I go to this download, uh oh, what's this? Ask me later. We'll go ahead and download this and let's see what it is, what this file is. Uh oh. Well, there we go. Potentially dangerous download detected. So McAfee is doing its job, jumping in there and filtering what we are able to see on the websites and able to download. So that's a good thing. So let's keep plugging along. And that was the second result, the second paid result on an AOL search makes me a little nervous. Webroot is a reputable company. We know that one's okay. I'm not sure what this one is. Security-essentials.download.co. So I try to download this. Let's see if McAfee jumps in here. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to run that and see what it does. It is a quick downloader. I'm not really sure what this is. We didn't get any warning here. So I don't know what this is. It may actually be security essential. So let's go ahead and jump through. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it was going through. It actually snuck in their real player. So if you're wondering how you get all these little add-ons, all these additional toolbars, and all this other silliness when you try to download and install something, this is how it's happening. So we're going through this installation routine. Actually, let me run through it again. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to decline, close all this stuff, and just leave. Whatever. I never click to just leave before. So we'll download this and we'll go ahead and run it. Again, McAfee's not stepping in this time. And we'll just do this guy. And you have to quickly or actually carefully read these things. So it's going to say we have a download info download manager. So that's going to install a, down, install a download manager, which I really don't want on my computer. So I'm going to click next. First one is going to tell me you have to read this tiny little print here. And it's going to install RealPlayer. And the reason it does this is because they get paid on the back end for every time they're installing one of these particular programs. So if I clicked Accept here, it would install RealPlayer, which is usually not even needed. Most websites play things automatically. It was a big deal back in the 90s, but not really needed now. So I'm going to decline that. This one is My Search Dial. So this is the first toolbar that would install itself when I'm trying to install Security Essentials on my computer. And there's no way around this. You only click accept. If I click advance, what happens here? If I take all of these off, what happens? It's still going to install something. So let's go ahead and accept it because I can't go any other way. The last time I tried to do this, it was something else. Let's see what this is. Ah, and MS Security Essentials now wants to make Bing my search engine. Again, they're getting some kind of payback deal for this, I'm sure. If I uninstall that, click clicking advance, I go accept. And now we've got a Linksickle plugin, which wants to install itself. So let's go ahead and allow that to happen and see if McAfee steps in and stops it. And this is PC Utility Software Limited. So now you've got the Optimizer Pro, which ends up on a bunch of people's computers. And they're, where did this come from? Well, you clicked Accept somewhere along the way and it installed itself. And apparently McAfee's not going to block that either. 
So now we're, uh, uh oh, we've got some kind of weird pop-up screen here that's trying to give us some kind of driver update, but I don't want that. I'm going to close that. And it's telling me it's got to close all my browsers, so sure, go ahead and do whatever because it has to install its, uh, its uh, toolbars or whatever it's doing in the background here. So let's go ahead and let that happen, and then we'll open it up and show you what we've got. All right, so we've just rebooted after we've downloaded all this nonsense that came with the supposed security essentials, which wasn't really security essentials, and I still don't have security essentials on here. McAfee appeared to let it through, and Optimizer Pro, even though I've got a pretty fresh reload, it's telling me I've got 470 items to clean and optimize. Now, this is uh, largely hooey, and there's a lot of things that can be fixed by a lot of free utilities, like C Cleaner, which is a free download, and a very, very good program, I might add. And uh, most of this stuff, your computer will run fine without ever optimizing your registry. Windows does a pretty good job of doing it itself. So let's open an internet browser and see what happened there. I'm going to close this. No, I don't want to register Optimizer Pro. Go away. And it's going to come back and nag me later. It's got a little time thing in it. And uh, You don't need it. You won't ever need it. You can buy it if you want to, but I don't think you're going to see any benefit out of it. I haven't. All right, so we're going to open AOL now, which is our home page. Fortunately, our home page is not yet hijacked, and that may have been McAfee stepping in and perfect, protecting that, but we're not sure yet. So we're going to go out and uh, try to see if we can get a little bit more infected here. I'm looking up top. I do have a McAfee toolbar, and uh-oh, secure search is off. I didn't turn that off. Get out of here. So something turned off my secure search. And look at this little thing on the bottom here. I've got something called Linkside, which it installed itself. Um, it wouldn't let me bypass this particular one, and it's showing me all kinds of junk coupons here. And uh, so far, it's just AOL. Uh, I don't even know what this stuff is. I really don't want to click on it. So, so that's what we've got so far. I want to do a search and make sure my searches are going where they're supposed to go. Ooh, can't type on it. Well, what is that? What? Hey, whoa! What was that? Times Square Psychics. Sighted? What? It, what? I didn't do that. Let's go back. But the good thing is that McAfee Site Advisor did kick in and said, Hey, man, you're going nuts. You don't want to do this. So I'm going to close that. I'm not sure what that... Oh, I don't want to do that. So I'm apparently already compromised. So I'm going to try to close all these pages here. And... I don't even know what this is. What is that? I've got some kind of advertising stuff that's inundated my browser. So I'm going to try to do the search again. I want to do computer. All I did was try to type something in here and that website popped up. I'm going to do a search for computer care clinic. And i got to be honest with you. I'm not so What is all this junk down here? More link side? Oh my goodness. I'm not really sure that... I'm going to trust AOL search. You know what I mean? I'm getting all kinds of weird things. I tried to get security essentials and it sent me some other weird place. So it's a good thing that this site is actually coming up. So I'm happy about that. And uh, let's do a little poking around. I'll be back and see if anything else rears its ugly head as a result of what we've already downloaded. But it's a good thing that McAfee actually did pop up and try to stop me from going to those two sites that popped up out of nowhere. All right, so I was just randomly poking around some of this software. I noticed I never got Security Essentials installed. I don't really need it because I have McAfee on here, but I was looking for it. So I double-clicked on the icon that was on my desktop. It says, you might as well install... What is that? McAfee's popping up with all kinds of stuff now. I went back to try to download this and install a whole bunch of stuff, and it's telling me that my drivers need to be up. I have out-of-date drivers, so let's go download that like an average user would do. And uh, we'll see if McAfee picks this up as some kind of stuff. The important thing to realize is, though, I have McAfee installed. I've had McAfee installed during this entire process, and I was still compromised, meaning I've got all this adware and all this crap on the left here that got right by. And all these things, too, all these underlying things, these could be a function of the web page, but they're probably some sort of adware that did manage to slip by my McAfee protection. Now, uh, Internet Explorer blocks some sign. I've got a smiling, flashing, annoying smiley face here and all kinds of weird stuff here. So, my computer has been compromised, although it doesn't technically have a virus. Now, McAfee is technically an antivirus, and this stuff is more like adware, spyware, malware, grayware, and it falls outside the realm of a technical virus. So, um, McAfee may not have the capability to... Uh, protect me from that kind of stuff. But what's important is uh, the reason of this video is we're going to show you how to get rid of all this stuff. So I'm going to get all this junk on this computer 
and uh, again it's a fresh load with the latest and greatest Microsoft fixes patches and Internet Explorer 11 and it's got the full McAfee trial suite the internet uh, security and uh, this is good this actually this site advisor is really helpful it's telling me that uh, I do have a problem but what I'm gonna do is uh, so I, I have to give props to McAfee for blocking this kind of stuff so whoa, what the heck was that I've got some kind of flip ads now jumping around all over though I don't even know what this stuff is and it's making my computer virtually unusable it's a pain in the butt. It's driving me nuts. I've got all these pop-ups and all these things, and I'm surprised I haven't seen all the toolbars yet. And I've got advertisements all over the place, and I don't know what incentive is. Let's just allow that, too. Now, as an end user of a computer that has McAfee or Norton or one of the big security suites, I'm not sure how you even got your computer infected. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Me, I'm actually having to do this on purpose. I'm actually clicking on these ads and going through all these crazy things and allowing them to install and to me this is the only way I see this is possible so you would have to agree to install these particular programs at some point we get a lot of customers coming here well I don't know how this toolbar got here and I don't know how this advertising stuff got here well that may not be accurate because you probably allowed it at some point by clicking yes I agree go ahead and install yourself and bypassing whatever security notification notifications you got so um, showing you that it is not that easy to be compromised. I'm actually forcing this computer to be compromised. But again, that's not the real reason behind this video. I want to show you how you can get rid of all this junk once your computer is compromised. Now, what's interesting is I'm installing this driver update, which is completely unnecessary. Every driver you will ever need is available from the manufacturer. This is the Dell, so you would get it from Dell.com or through Microsoft's Windows Update. You don't need any third-party driver update utilities unless you built your own computer and you have no idea what's inside of it. But again, this is an off-the-shelf Dell Latitude, and this is telling me on the upper right-hand corner, I'm seeing Microsoft Gold Certified Partner. Now it is ridiculously easy to get that certification. I think all you have to do is fill out an application. They don't even check or screen anybody. You could be the world's worst criminal and still get that designation as a Microsoft Gold Certified Partner. So that means nothing. Just because you see that Microsoft logo, don't necessarily trust what uh, this particular website or any website or any vendor is trying to sell you. This is interesting. This is a warning I've never seen before. For the, I don't know if it's relatively new or in the latest version of the McAfee software, but it says potentially annoying download detected now that's kind of cool and uh it's warning you here hey man this might contain viruses spyware and all kinds of other junk so it says block download or download anyway for the purposes of this video i'm going to go ahead and download anyway which you wouldn't do so that is interesting so i'm still messing up this thing here there's that microsoft gold certified partner again and all that silliness um i'm going to keep messing this thing up i'll come back at you when it's totally hosed Another tip I wanted to give you, now that I've downloaded a bunch of this crap, I get all these pages coming up here saying, thanks for downloading, please take a moment to register your software to make sure it stays free. Well, this is the last thing you want to do. You never want to give anybody who makes this type of software any information, any personal information. Definitely don't give them your email addresses because they do sell lists of those email addresses from people just like yourself who are nice people, they're good people, and they decide they want to be honest and give people their email addresses and they follow what they think are rules from these specific software vendors. Now they sell that and that's where a lot of people get a bunch of spam from. And they call it a sucker list in the uh, industry. So you wanna make sure you don't give them any information um, unless it's something that you manually downloaded like or something that you purchased from a reputable company. Okay, so I just rebooted this PC and I've just closed the probably 10 to 20 windows that came up when I booted it up which is ridiculous and cumbersome and a pain in my butt and I hate it. But I uh, will show you what's going on with this thing. I'm going to open Internet Explorer and what's really weird, it tries to go to my home page which has been hijacked from AOL to now some kind of weird AOL something. And it's telling my home page which is a derivative of Yahoo with some kind of search thing with something on the end of it is now a dangerous site. So my home page, McAfee is telling me, is actually a dangerous site. So, And also you see this little guy up here in the corner, this little fruitcake here. And this is something called 24 by 7 help. And supposedly you can click on that thing. It's supposed to help you with your computer. What they don't tell you is they try to get you to sign up for an expensive annual contract. It's about 300 bucks a year. And you're supposed to be able to fix your computer remotely. And ironically, they end up just uh, removing stuff that they put on in the first place. Except for their application, of course. So uh, if you see these things on your computer, 
uh, these little pop-ups, these ads, these 24 by 7 help, this little head here, your computer's been compromised. And you probably should not use it for banking or to enter any personal information on because there's a potential that you may have a key logger. What a key logger does is it captures all your keystrokes and sends it to somebody in some third world country <laughs> like India or somewhere. No, India is not a third world country, but you, you know what I'm saying. It'll send it to people who are bad that may do bad things with it, and you definitely don't want to do that because then you end up having to cancel credit cards, and you could be on the line financially for a bunch of money that, for things that you didn't purchase. Um, so what we're going to do now is close all this stuff down, and I'm going to show you the three tools that we're going to use that are going to clean 90% of this stuff up, and the rest of it, I'll show you a couple easy ways to knock all of it out. And here's another one of those stupid pop-ups looking for your email address. And uh, they'll tell you, they'll give you a free $1,000 Walmart gift card if you buy things. Which is telling you, you have to buy things from their sponsors. And uh, who knows if you ever really get there. But what I do know is if you put your email in this field here. Oh, it takes me somewhere else. I tried to type in the email. And uh, I'm not sure where it, oh, it's sending me some kind of global survey group. So I can get junk mail and telemarketing calls for the rest of my natural life. Well, we're not going to do that. So, Oh, new McAfee finally kicked in and told me that's a probably a bad site. So this McAfee's doing a, a pretty good job at blocking a lot of junk, although I'm not sure. Oh, we've got all kinds of pop-up windows going on. So we're going to dealshark.com now, whatever that is. So this computer is compromised. And uh, what we're going to do in the next video is show you how to knock all this junk out.